Sensei is a Japanese word for dignity or teacher. And it's the name of this computer system set up to bring dignity back to paraplegics. Lon Safeco is the inventor, developer, and marketer of the product. The idea came to him when he suffered from a broken ankle and realized his limitations and those of people stuck in wheelchairs without the use of their limbs. The computer system is simple. It operates by head movements and little puffs of air directed through the mouthpiece. By sending an infrared ray to special devices hooked up to appliances, a person, for instance, can operate a television or dial a phone number. Safeco says the difference in his program is it doesn't stop with a person's environmental needs. But after you turn your lights on, what do you do with the rest of your day? So we concentrated on uh, vocational rehabilitation. I want to put the disabled back to work. I want to give them the opportunity to, to be able to work like the rest of us. He finished a program which, which he claims is in foul part of August. Right now he has one installed at Yakima Hospital and expects as many as 75 units to be in place by the end of September. He says many veterans hospitals are expressing an interest in the device. He remembers trying the system out on a 12-year-old girl born with no arms or legs. And uh, she turned the light on. She just puffed on it, made the light come on. She almost jumped out of the chair. Uh, I turned to the nurse and the, the two nurses that were attending her were crying. And I didn't understand. She says, do you realize the girl's 12 years old and she's never in her life turned on a light? Safeco is selling the system for about $8,000 right now. He says he is more concerned with emotional rewards than financial. In Richland, Shelley Swanke, KV News. In Richland, Shelley Swanke, CAP 35 News. In like turning on a light, answering the phone, or turning the pages of a book. That's what happens to many accident victims who wind up paralyzed for life or who temporarily are unable to function. But there's a local man who's trying to make things a little easier for the disabled. New Center Shelley Wintermark tells us about the man Westinghouse is named Entrepreneur of the Year. Disabled, back to work. I want to give him the opportunity to be able to work like the rest of us. Meet Lon Stafko and his product, Sensei. Sensei is a computer system that allows the disabled to control their environment, communicate with the rest of the world, and even re-enter the workforce. Most computers require the operator to use a keyboard, but not this one. It's all controlled by puffs of air. Stafko has been marketing his product to hospitals all over the country. There are about 12 manufacturers of computer systems like this one, but one hospital in Houston ended its search for a system when they saw a Sensei. Halfway through the demonstration, they stood up and they said, we've seen enough. I thought I was going to be escorted out by the guards, but it turns out that they said that we're light years ahead of the competition. More than half of the systems that were demonstrated didn't work, um, and most everybody is concentrating strictly on environmental control, turn on the lights. Well... Sure, that's the magic part, and that was definitely one of the toughest. But after you turn your lights on, what do you do with the rest of your day? So we concentrated on uh, vocational rehabilitation. So All ages can utilize a system that costs about $8,000 for all the hardware uh, and the uh, software, which for a computer system this extensive is really a good deal. In great. Richland, well, Shelley Wintermark, News Center 25. Uh, now, if you'd like more information there on Sensei, you can reach the business at 375 3268 there and you can ask for extension 4628 and they'll put you in touch with the people you'd like to talk to.